Hello everyone, this is the first video of my channel in English and I hope that it's gonna help a lot of people to better understand how real estate incomes are taxed in France and how you can avoid all the taxes for a long time with really easy and legal ways. I also hope that my accent will be quite clear and not too hard to understand or to listen to. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content, it helps the channel to grow. I'm Quentin Aniré and I am the CEO of Aniré Patrimoine, which can be translated by Aniré Wealth Management in English. The office is based in Savoie, in the city of Chambéry, which is nearby Switzerland. And daily, we help tons of people to avoid taxes, make the best investment in finance or in real estate, and we manage the accounting of our clients with their income and advise them to optimize their situations. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you either own an apartment or a house in France, or because you are about to buy one that you might annually or occasionally rent. Maybe you don't know it yet, but France has the most complex and hard system of taxes in the world. We are the most taxed country in Europe. But if you manage well your investment, France can be a real tax haven. Let's see how right now. Okay, so first, before we see how are taxed the real estate incomes for the foreigners, we must define exactly what is the taxed incomes. Probably like all the countries in the world, you are not taxed on the global income, the turnover in other words, but only on the net profit, just like a company would. Of course, it would be a nonsense to tax someone on the turnover because this person have had charges to operate his property and get his rent every month. So the first thing you must remember is that there are many charges that reduce your turnover and the taxes are only calculated on the net profit. We'll see the charges later in another video. So now, you have to know that in France, you have two different taxes on your real estate net profit. Let's see which one. The first one is the income taxes. In France, we have special rates for the French citizen that you can see in this sheet. So you can see we have different brackets like 0%, 11, 30, 41, and 45%. For the non-citizen, which is probably your case, we have a special income tax rate. 20% for all the incomes up to 27,478 euros and 30% for all the incomes above that. So yes, it's quite unfair because we, citizen of France, can be taxed up to 45% on our incomes and you only 30%. So you understood, the first thing is that your real estate net profit will be taxed at 20% for your first 27,478 euros and at 30% for every euros above that number. Let's see the second tax. In French, it's called prélèvements sociaux, which can be translated by social taxes in English. In this case, the rate will depend on which country you live in. For the French citizen and all the non-European citizen, the rate will be at 17.2% of your real estate net profits and only 7.5% if you live in a European country. Once again, it's quite unfair because a German or British that has real estate incomes in France, they will be taxed at 7.5% of social taxes. And if a French or, I don't know, Canadian or American or Chinese or whatever citizen that has real estate net profit, he will be taxed at 17.2%. The reason is for some European laws on social security, but whatever, it's not the topic of the video. So if I sum up and take an example, let's imagine that someone, I don't know, let's call him Peter, who is a United States citizen, invest in France and earn maybe 40,000 euros a year in real estate incomes. Peter will deduct his charges from his income and let's imagine his net profit will be 30,000 euros. So he had 10,000 euros of charges. As Peter is a US citizen, he will be taxed one time on the income taxes, which I remember are 20% up to 27,478 euros. So if I calculate, it's gonna make 27,400 478 euros multiplied by 20 percent equals 5,495 euros of income taxes and the 2,522 euros left will be taxed in the tax bracket of the 30 percent. If I calculate once again it's gonna make 2,522 multiplied by 30 percent equals 756 euros. If I add these two results it gives me a total of 6,000 
1,251 euros of income taxes, but it's not over. We now have to calculate the social taxes that represent 17.2% of the net profit, as Peter is a US citizen, he has the maximum rate. 30,000 euros multiplied by 17.2% equals 5,160 euros. To know the total amount of taxes paid by Peter in one year, we have to add the income taxes and the social taxes, which gives us 11,411 euros. What do you think? Do you think it's a large amount of taxes? Because 11,411 euros compared to the 40,000 euros of turnover represent a bit more than 20% and compared to the 30,000 euros net profit, it represents a bit more of 33%. Now that you know how the net profits are taxed, I'm gonna explain to you how to avoid it. I'll make this part quite fast and I'm not gonna fall into really long and boring explanation of the French taxation system. If you're interested in to know more about it, you can contact our cabinet at this URL or by mail directly to this address. Whatever country you live in, we can help you to invest money in French real estate and we officially guarantee to you at least 8% net return on investment every year with rents paid every month, so every month on your own account with absolutely no taxes in France or in your country. Of course, 8% is the minimum. The average rate we've got is between 9 and 10%. So if you're interested in, you can contact us and we'll be glad to explain how we do that and you'll see that it's really simple and mathematical. Let's get back to how to avoid taxes. In France, we distinguish two ways of renting, the non-furnished accommodation or the furnished accommodation. I'm sure you have understand the difference. In one case, the accommodation is rent with no or a few furnished and in the other way, it's rent with all the required furnitures so that the tenant doesn't need to bring any furniture to live in. To avoid taxes in non-furnished accommodation, the only way you've got is to make works or to make renovations. If you buy one accommodation that is old and needs to be repaired, you're gonna pay a company to make the renovation works. And the key is that these works are going to create what we call in France deficit foncier, which can be translated by something like rent deficit in English. The rent deficit is going to create a huge charge that is going to bring your real estate income net profit to zero for many years. And so you don't have any net profit to declare, so you have zero taxes. It's as simple as that. Let's take an example that I had with one of our client lady. My client asked us to find a high ROI project with no taxes. We found him a two bedroom apartment nearby the city of Montbéliard sold for the price of 30,000 euros, really low price. The apartment was in a really bad state and everything inside needed to be repaired. So he bought the apartment and we found him a company to renovate everything inside for 35,000 euros. The total of this operation is 30,000 euros of property purchase, 4,000 euros of purchase taxes. Yes, that's one new taxes that you can't avoid or you can do nothing about it. It's between seven and 10% of the purchase price every time you buy one accommodation. And he had consequently 35,000 euros of renovation. Our client spent a total of 69,000 euros and now has a really fancy and modern apartment in a well-located place. The rent he got when we rented the apartment was 600 euros a month. It's 7,200 euros per year and that makes a ROI of 10.43% gross. At the end, when we made this client tax declaration, we said, okay, he's got 7,200 euros of rent during the year. We deduct the charges my client paid so, for example, there was the insurance, our real estate agency fees to manage the rent, the property tax, and the loan interest and insurance. At the end, when we deduct these charges of the 7,200 euros he got, there was 5,186 euros left. So, theoretically, my client should have paid taxes on this net profit. But as he paid 35,000 euros of work renovation, it's considered as a charge. So, if you deduct 35,000 euros, to a net profit of 5,186 euros, you get a deficit of 29,814 euros. That is the famous rent deficit. And thanks to that, my client didn't pay any taxes, not only this year, but also for the next five years. And do you know why? Because every year, when he's supposed to have about 5,186 euros of net profit, we are going to pick in this deficit pocket to bring the result back to zero. So, with an operation like that, you can hold about six years without any taxes. Now, I'm gonna explain to you how not to have taxes when you don't need to make renovation or 
repair works in your accommodation. The explanation is simple. You have to rent it furnished. Why? Because in France, when you rent an accommodation with furniture, you are considered as a company. I say considered, right? So you have the right to practice what we call amortizations on your accommodation. And the magic is that the amortization is considered as a charge. If we imagine the same example that before with the same client, but in this case, we'll admit that he bought directly an apartment that was already renoved and he bought it for a price that was more expensive. Of course, in this case, as it sold renoved, the price is necessarily above what we what he bought last time. So let's imagine that uh, the, the apartment cost around 90,000 euros. During the tax declaration, we are going to declare the exact same rent, the exact same charges as in the non-furnished case. So we are going to have a net profit of 5,186 euros. And in this case, there is no work to get the net profit to zero. But as we are in the case of a furnished accommodation, we can calculate an amortization. That is to say, for the people who don't know, that we are going to calculate the loss of value of the apartment every year due to the time that is pending and the damages of the rain, the snow, the tenant, etc. After a few calculations, we now get an amortization of 5,300 euros per year during 10 years. So as we declare the amortization, the net profit is brought back to zero once again. So in one way or another, you can completely avoid taxes on your real estate incomes. In one way, you will have to rent it non-furnished and make some renovation. In the other way, if you don't have any renovation or repair, you have to rent it it furnished and thanks to the amortization that is a, a quite complex calculation of many different parameters but don't worry we'll do that for you or we can explain it to you how we do that and everything but not in this video you can also avoid taxes it's gonna be the end of this video i really hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe or to support the channel if you enjoy the content and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions see you later for another video bye bye